welcome to VTO e sectiona program hi dr g m krishnaya professor and head of the department of chemistry sir m vishweshwaraya institute of technology bengaluru karnataka so today i am going to talk about that metal uh, this module 2 corrosion and its control so before going to start my uh, regular uh, uh, class that i am going to talk about uh, i am going to give brief introduction about me i am working as a professor head of the department of chemistry at saram mission technology since 1992 this is my 30th year actually i joined that institution in the year of 1992 and worked as a lecturer then after completion of phd in the year of 2000 under the guidance of professor t r narayan kutti university of science and professor l gomathi devi presently vice chancellor of uh, maharani cluster university uh, then i am heading the department since 2001 uh, and i worked as a boe chairman board of exam boet u uh, 2018 19 and the second term 2020-21, and I worked as a BOS member, Board of Studies in Chemistry between 2016 and 19, and I am in various committees at college level as well as VTU level and other universities. So before going to start my, my module two corrosion, I am going to talk about some of the general instructions to you. Uh, normally, this VTU has come to the picture 19. 98 april april 2000 1998 14 1998 okay the earlier to this uh, vtu that all the colleges are affiliate all the engineering colleges are affiliated to some other in is nearby in for example our saram it was affiliated to bangalore university and mysore nearby colleges were affiliated to mysore is like that only and uh, in uh, now as on today that uh, uh, number of colleges in under vtu to around 200 colleges are there there are four regions are there that is bangalore region mysore region gulbarga region Bel belagam region now it is called bengaluru mysore kalburgi and belagavi so now for example this one stands for bangalore region for example students who are studying in bangalore region that is called one and a uh, college code for example if you take my college mv that is college code and year of joining for example students who joined this year 2021 uh, that is 21 then if it is the branch civil students cv mechanical me electrical ee electronics ec computer science cs like that 001 to etc this is called uh, university seat number nowhere use this word in this country except vtu under in karnataka state that is university seat number that is nothing but registration number your people are getting this usn number to write the to appear for the main examination then uh, you know one more uh, one more uh, is uh, started that is one more that is in uh, mangaluru that is fifth uh, with this one fifth zone so bangalore mysore gulbarga and belagam that is called now it is called bengaluru mysore kalburgi and belagavi so these are things about that and uh, next is that year that when vtu started this one there are number of schemes were there 1992 scheme 1992 uh, 1998 uh, scheme sorry 1998 scheme 2000 2 scheme 2006 scheme 2010 scheme 2014 scheme 2015 scheme 2017 scheme 2018 scheme now you have the 2021 scheme so these many schemes are there when we to started about that you know this one so actually up to this up to 2010 this is about that theory marks for that internal 100 and 25 marks for iam that is sessional marks even that uh, 14 that is about that uh, theory 700 uh, and lab 75 that uh, ia marks about 25 only then choice based uh, credit system started 2015 only choice based credit system as per the ugc now this model curriculum 
we have started that choice based credit system 2015 that time that marks about that 80 marks and 20 marks in the first time in the history of that VTU scheme that uh, we are given that out of 20 marks 15 marks for the test and 5 marks for the assignment. So, that is the first time about that and 2017 about that 160 marks and 40 marks that means out of 40 marks 30 marks for the test and 10 marks for the assignment and 2018 also same thing only. Uh, this is same thing, same ditto and 2020 now it is called 50 marks for theory, 50 marks for IA, 50 plus 50 about that. Out of this you know like I am going to talk about in detail about this, you know like up to 2015 you are conducting test 1, test 2, test 3 you are taking average. 19 plus 20 plus 21 out of this whatever the one about that and uh, later uh, you know like up to this one about that. But when it come to uh, 2000 uh, yeah, this is called sessional marks NSA or NSSR not satisfied attendance requirement not satisfied sessional requirement about the sessional requirement for lab is about that minimum uh, 12 out of 25 that is 50 percent and theory uh, the, there was no minimum. Whereas, when you come to the 2017 scheme, 2017 scheme that you have to score uh, minimum marks in theory also, theory also minimum marks and lab, lab 50 percent of the total. For example, you know like uh, if it is 40 marks, you have to score minimum 20 marks and uh, theory meaning 40 percent of the uh, 40 percent of that one that means about that 16 marks minimum about that. Then you have to score. 24 marks out of remaining 60 marks in the main examination totally 40 percent that is a passing. Here also in that main examination 40 percent of that 60 means 24 marks out of 60 for the minimum passing marks about that. Now, I am talking about the 2000, 2016, 2017 scheme that you know like NSA R means not satisfied not satisfied attendance requirement that means the students must have minimum 85 percent of attendance at least they must have 75 attendance and you have to submit uh, any medical certificate for to get the 10 percent attendance about that otherwise students were not eligible to write the main examination. Whereas and NSSR means about that not satisfied sessional requirement up to 2014 I told you about 15 that it was not applicable to that labs. So now this N not such requirement is not only to the lab even for theory also applicable about that. If you get less marks you are not eligible to appear for the theory examination you have to repeat the uh, repeat the course again that okay. For example, you know like uh, for example, if you score about that uh, out of 40 you have to score minimum 16 and you have to score out of 100 marks you have to score minimum that is about that 40 later is going to reduce to this one about that 24 out of 60 that is 40 percent. If the student scored less than 60 not eligible to appear for the main examination he has to appear for the once again he has to re repeat the course re repeat the course about that. So, now you know like uh, lab is concerned that as you know that already 50 percent mass have to be scored and other things about that. Now, uh, not satisfied NSSR is applicable not only to theory, it is applicable to both, both theory and lab. Okay. Then you know like one more thing is that here uh, the, this one uh, uh, the, this one what you call that uh, that marks whatever the marks you are scoring uh, this one you are having units up to 2015 units units means you are having 8 8 units 8 chapters out of that unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 unit 4 5 6 7 8 people used to answer any four any five questions each carries 20 marks that means part a part b that means students are answering 2 3 or 3 questions and 2 questions 
most of the some of the colleges some most of some of the colleges teachers used to complete only eight module five modules five units or six uh, units only so students were able to score uh, good marks in that about that so then vtu has changed that uh, thing about that that is called modules modules has come to the picture that is about that uh, 2015 scheme onwards that is 80 20 scheme about that there were uh, module 1 module 1 module 2 module 3 module 4 module 5 so now we are going to set two questions from each module one 1a 1b from this there are two parts parts are there so here two two, two questions from that uh, first half and c and d from the second half second half first, first module of the second half similarly second question a and b from that uh, second half and remaining questions from the first half that means uh, li like that we have to answer that 3 4 5 6 like that 10 questions we are going to ask that so now you have to answer any five full questions selecting one full question from each module out of 10 modules you have to answer this one each carries 20 marks about that that means you have to learn all the chapters or all the modules otherwise you won't get marks about that some of the colleges when they are going to talk about that only first half first half about that people are used to get that not more than 60 marks or 70 marks about that so vto i am also part of that vto uh, when i prepared 2015 scheme 2017 scheme 2018 scheme, i was a uh, board of studies member i know that things some things were uh, done like this only so that means you have to answer all the the out of out of 10 questions you have to answer five questions otherwise you won't get full marks about that so now 2021 scheme the 2021 scheme only i'm going to talk about that see now 21 first semester i'm talking about that chemistry cycle there are two cycles are there 21 indicates that you are in 21 scheme and mat is means mathematics 1 1 this one indicates that you are in first semester first serial number subject similarly 21 cche cche 1 2 you are in you are in first semester second subject so then 21 psp that is computer subject that is first semester third semester uh, third subject like that 21 eln 14 that is basic electronic subject like that 21 20 eme elements of mechanical engineering 15 so that means these are all the subjects theory subjects about that then 21 21 chel engineering chemistry lab 16 then 21 cpl 17 computer lab 21 egh that is english communication english 18 then one more subject introduced is that about that scientific foundation of health that is about that 21 sfh 19 so now these are all called chemistry cycle subjects whereas physics cycle subjects this is common mathematics is common and uh, this one what is that english is common whether you are first this one about that so first semester then instead of physics you will stay you are going to study 21 phy 12 and 21 civ 13 21 ele ele that is electrical engineering 14 then 21 21 no, graphics fg that is about that 15 and 21 ch 21 phyl physics lab you have that 16 then 21 21 electrical lab elel 17 then already I told you 18 is same thing and 19 that is innovation and design thinking that is 21 idt in the history of survey history of that video introduce that that is about the 21 idt uh, the 19 about that this is a first sub semester subjects then when you go to second semester this is mathematics 2 is going to become 21 instead of 1 this is going to become 22 for example now i'm talking about the 21 ch12 when you are going to second semester physics cycle students when come this side is going to become second that means 
you are in second semester second second semester uh, second subject and mathematics uh, and english mathematics this is going to become 22 english is going to become uh, 28 english and uh, uh, the, you are to, supposed to study two subjects of that English and two subjects of that mathematics unlike other subjects when you go to second semester. So, this is about general thing and uh, I want to tell you about that scheme of that about that. Uh, yeah, this one about that you know like for example, theory subject, theory subject you have that 100 marks, 100 marks out of that 50 marks that is external. 50 marks for that internal ok. So, now this 50 marks means we are going to teach you that 5 modules any theory subject whether it is chemistry or mathematics. This one you are going to ask you 10 questions out of that you have to answer any 5 questions for 100 marks that is going to be reduced to 50 and whereas, this 50 marks of that internal any theory we are going to conduct test 1 for 20 marks test 2 for 20 marks, test 3 for 20 marks and we are going to give assignment 1 for 10 marks, assignment 2 for 10 marks ok. Then we are going to give you that self study component first time we introduce as per the NEP 2020 national education policy in this country VTO is the first university installed that uh, NEP 2020 this one syllabus introduced that ok. And this one this is for 20 marks that is about that you are going to study quiz you have to give quiz or teachers are going to conduct seminar or they are going to give that uh, project etc. 20 marks totally 20, 20, 20, 60, 80, 100. So, 100 is going to be reduced to 50. If you get 100 out of 100, you are going to get 50 out of 50. If you get 80, is going to become 40. So, this is the scheme about that theory and lab is that about that they are supposed to conduct uh, for lab is concerned supposed to conduct uh, you know like experiments 10 or 12 experiments out of that they are going to conduct the exam for that ok. But this out of 50 marks for external, 50 marks for internal we have to conduct test 1, test 2 and we have to conduct experiment. For example, if you have conducted 10 experiments, you have to give weightage for the experiments 30 marks and record 10 marks and test 1, test 2 10 marks, totally 50 marks ok. Actually, we are going to conduct test for 50 marks, 50 marks later reduce to this one. So, if you do not get that marks 50 out of this 40 marks uh, this one what is that uh, uh, 50 percent that is 25. Otherwise, you have to repeat that otherwise comes under NSS or not satisfied sessional requirement about this is a general uh, one about the 25 marks ok. Then for main examination you have to score minimum 20 out of 50. Actually, we are going to conduct the exam for 100 marks uh, as per the new scheme uh, just last week only VT was uh, uh, sent to all the colleges, you have to suppose to write two procedures for 20 marks and viva, viva 30 marks and experiment you have to perform any one of the experiment in the last 25 years it happens to be 25th year of Saram this VT has started that you know like this one now. Uh, uh, this one earlier students used to do two experiments in that earlier schemes. Now, with effect from 2000 uh, uh, this one 2021 21 scheme students supposed to do only one experiment not only physics or chemistry even when they go to higher semesters they have to supposed to do only one experiment instead of this uh, the NEP has uh, clearly said that about that no pressure on the students instead of doing performing two experiments they are supposed to do only one experiment ok. That means, 40 marks for the result and uh, 40 marks for that uh, experiment performing 10 marks for the calculation. So, 20 marks if you write a brief procedure of two experiments you will get 20 marks and uh, viva students uh, teachers are going to ask that uh, questions to you for all the experiments about that you have to answer 30 marks and uh, experiment 40 plus 10 then you have to score 100 If at all if you want to score 100 marks, you must know that calculation part, 
you must know that pressure writing properly and why also you have to read that. So, this is general instructions about uh, that uh, you know like VTU, this is the one about that starting from 1998 to 2021 schemes. Okay. So, now uh, I am going to start uh, that regular class that I am going to start regular class that about corrosion and its control. This is about that uh, module 2. Module 2 about this. You know, like in this syllabus, module 2 that is corrosion and its control. Introduction about corrosion that means electro metallic corrosion definition electrochemical theory of corrosion or local cell theory of corrosion, factors affecting the rate of corrosion like ratio of anodic to cathodic areas, nature of corrosion product, nature of medium, pH, conductivity, temperature, uh, etc. Types of corrosion, there are different types of corrosion, differential metallic corrosion, differential aeration corrosion, and pit uh, the under pitting uh, the erosion corrosion pitting and water line corrosion corrosion control that is anodized anodic protection cathodic protection corrosion control anodizing anodizing of aluminum cathodic protection sacrificial anode method and impressed voltage methods metal coatings galvanization corrosion penetration rate cpr this was a new topic introduced in the present syllabus about that CPR, numerical problems on CPR about that. So, here earlier you know like you are going to study about that, uh, uh, this is about that metallic corrosion. Then next topic is that about that, okay, next topic is that uh, the, this one now, Syllab syllabus about that, uh, just I am um, missing about that here, I am going to tell you that is about that metal finishing. Metal finishing meaning technological importance metal finishing, electroplating, electroless plating definitions, electroplating variables or parameters, electroplating, def electroplating definition, electroplating with respect to chromium both hard and smooth chromium plating process and electroless plating definition, electroless plating bath composition, advantages about electroless plating process distinguish between electroplating and electroless plating process, electroless plating of copper uh, used as in a print used in electronic uh, industries like the printer to, for the manufacture of printed circuit boards. Just I am showing only corrosion part one lesson plan and next part next chapter is that this module consists about two parts, one is metallic corrosion, other one about that. This metallic corrosion I am going to talk about general instructions about metallic corrosion then electrochemical theory of corrosion in the first period and the second period I am going to talk second session I am going to talk about that explain the factors affecting the rate of corrosion, corrosion product, temperature, pH, current density etcetera. Then uh, continue followed by this one uh, types of different types of corrosion, actual types of corrosion that is differential metallic corrosion and uh, differential aeration corrosion. Then uh, no, this is about second period. Third period, I am going to talk about that corrosion control, corrosion control that is anodizing of aluminum, cathodic protection, uh, impressed voltage method and uh, this is about that uh, galvanization, corrosion uh, up to this, I am going to talk about third period is that only corrosion control anodizing, what is anodizing, anodizing of aluminum. Cathodic protection, what, are, what is cathodic protection? Explain sacrificial anode method and impressed voltage method, current method, and last period, fourth period of in the corrosion, corrosion penetration uh, rate, numerical problems we are going to solve that. And the fifth period, I am going to talk about that metal finishing chapter. Metal finishing, what is meant by metal finishing? Explain technological importance of metal finishing, okay, then explain uh, define the term polarization, decomposition potential and over voltage definitions, then electroless plating definition, uh, electroplating of that chromium, then afterwards electroless plating uh, definition, electroless plating with respect to examples, then electroless plating of that, uh, electroless plating of, uh, the electroless plating advantages, then electroless plating bath composition, 
distinguish between electroplating and electroless plating process and uh, lastly that is electroless plating with respect to copper for the manufacture of printed circuit boards in electronic industries. Now let me start with uh, what is metallic corrosion. What is metallic other than metallic corrosion is called erosion. Okay, other than metallic corrosion is called erosion, erosion of limestone, E-R-O-S-I-O-N, corrosion means C-O-R-R-O-S-I-O-N, okay, metallic corrosion nothing but disturbed metals are alloys by the surrounding environment through chemical or electrochemical reactions, corrosion is defined as gradual restriction of uh, disturbed metals are alloys, alloys nothing but homogeneous mixture of two or more metals. Okay, for example, copper in brass. Okay, uh, metallic corrosion nothing but distressed metals or alloys by the surrounding environment through chemical or electrochemical reactions. There are two types of corrosion, but actually these two are not actual types of corrosion. This is due to dry corrosion. Dry means O2. Wet corrosion means moisture that is H2O. H2O about that. H2O about that, dry corrosion usually occurs in the absence of moisture, however dry corrosion process is less common, wet corrosion is more prevalent than dry corrosion because it takes places in the presence of moisture that is H2O, but you know like uh, erosion, other than metallic corrosion is called erosion E-R-O-S-I-O-N, erosion of limestone. Erosion of historical monuments like Taj Mahal, okay, erosion of wood, erosion of that glass other than any metal. Metal means contains metal into metal oxide, metal, metal into metal ions, okay, conducting material, okay, other than metal, okay. Erosion of limestone, other historical monuments like Taj Mahal, etc., even that flooring materials, calcium, carbonate, okay. So then, now, uh, just now I concluded that what is metallic corrosion, metallic corrosion is nothing but distant metals are alloys by the surrounding environment, actually corrosion is nothing but oxidation, corrosion is nothing but oxidation, 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 corrosion nothing but oxidation, o corrosion occurs at anode, corrosion takes place at anode. Okay, normally electrons flowing from anode to cathode. Okay, any this one about that left compartment is anode, right compartment is cathode. Okay, so the, this arrow mark indicates that electrons flowing from anode to cathode. This is uh, electrolyte about that. So now always corrosion takes place at anode. Okay, so uh, now you are going to study later stage about that electroplating of copper or electroplating that is cathodic production about that, corrosion occurs at anode, corrosion itself is nothing but oxidation. So, so far we are discussing about that what is metallic corrosion, metallic corrosion is nothing but distant metals or alloys by the surrounding environment due to, uh, due to wet and dry corrosion, okay, electrochemical theory of reactions, that is metallic corrosion is nothing but distant metals or alloys by the surrounding environment, uh, surrounding environment through chemical or electrochemical reaction, that is due to wet and dry corrosion. Now, let me explain about that electrochemical theory of corrosion by taking iron as an example. See corrosion uh, is an example of an oxidation, I told you just now. When a metal like an iron is exposed to atmosphere, the following electrochemical changes occurs gradually that is rusting of rod. See the normal uh, way of understanding metallic corrosion that a layman is able to understand uh, loss of metallic corrosion loss of metallic corrosion uh, that is loss of the weight of the metal. So now formation of galvanic cell, anodic and cathodic areas are formed result in a large number of uh, minute galvanic cells. Anodic reaction at the anodic area metal undergoes oxidation with the release of electrons, metal into metal oxide. So electrons flowing from anode to cathode, same number of electrons accepted by the cathode. Okay, that is anodic reaction, clear? So now iron into iron, this one about that, this is cathodic reaction, O2 plus 2H2O gives hydroxyl ions. In anodic area, that is about that iron into iron metal ions, 
it gives electrons then same number of electrons accepted by the cathode okay so now in the metallic corrosion chapter what is metallic corrosion explain electrochemical theory or local cell theory of corrosion normally ask this question for 8 marks in the main examination under vtu normally the definition about 2 to 3 marks and there are four reactions are there that is anodic reaction a mark cathodic reaction 3 marks about that see now cathodic reaction at the cathodic area electrons are absorbed and cause reduction of constituents the electrons flow from the anodic to cathodic cathodic area at the end at the cathodic area chemical process preserved on the presence surface of the metal to get reduced cathodic area of the metal only provides the surface for the for the reduction but it does not undergo corrosion hence cathodic area remains unaffected i told you that electrons flowing from anode to cathode only then this arrow mark indicates that electron this one flowing from anode to cathode this is not going to be affected corrosion takes place at anode corrosion nothing but oxidation about that whereas a cathodic reaction here one is solution aerated non aerated that is absence of o2 presence of o2 etc about that so it is not going to affect that about that the following are the possible ways in which reduction can occur at the cathodic area liberation of hydrogen it takes place in the in the absence of oxygen that is in acidic media in acidic media that is about the 2h plus plus 2e minus gives hydrogen hydrogen evolution is happened about that so this is liberation of hydrogen in neutral or alkaline media uh, this one about that water into h plus and oh h h plus and oh h oh h plus and oh h oh h and h plus gives this one about that hydrogen again liberation about that and water gives hydroxyl ions hydroxyl ions and hydrogen evolution about that the absorption of oxygen it takes it it takes place in the presence of oxygen uh, in acidic medium in in, a, in acidic medium in neutral or alkaline medium these are the reactions happened about o2 plus oh2 o2 plus 4h plus plus 4e gives water o2 plus two water molecules plus 4e gives hydroxyl ions so this is the one about the what is metallic corrosion metallic corrosion nothing but disturb metals or alloys by the surrounding environment through chemical electrochemical reactions alloy is nothing but homogeneous mixture of two or more metals for example copper and brass homogeneous means solid solid liquid liquid then a uh, reaction anodic reaction iron to iron 2 plus plus 2e minus and uh, this one about that uh, this one these are all the reactions about that cathodic reactions uh, you know like uh, where it is not going to affect that it is going to remains same about that following uh, possible reaction about that solution aerated aerated means presence of o2 absence of o2 and uh, neutral alkaline about that and ultimately you are going to get that uh, uh, fe2 plus ions fe2 plus ions fe2 plus i am writing yes properly fe2 plus ions or smaller in size they diffuse fast faster than hydroxyl ions hydroxyl ions and they combine near the cathodic area forming insoluble ferrous hydrates ferrous hydroxide clear so uh, small uh, iron uh, fe2 plus ions are smaller in size they diffuse faster than hydroxyl ions so then you know like this would forms ferrous hydroxide ferrous hydroxide further combines with oxygen and water resulting hydrated ferric oxide ferric oxide so that is nothing but yellow or brown rust i repeat that uh, you know like iron ions are smaller in size they diffuse faster than hydroxyl ions forms Uh, insoluble ferrous hydroxide uh, ferrous hydroxide in turn combines with oxygen and water re resulting hydrated ferric oxide nothing but brown rust brown or yellow rust this is called hydrated ferric oxide fe2 o3 the uh, three uh, water molecules about that so in the presence of in the presence of limited oxygen ferrous oxide is converted into magnetic oxide and 
it is known as black crust. In the presence of limited oxygen, ferrous oxide is converted into magnetic oxide and it is known as black rust. That is about that, it is called rust formation. See now, you know like out of 8 marks question, 2 marks for the definition, 4 marks for the reactions and 2 marks for that corrosion product formed that is corrosion rust, black rust, this one because iron into iron oxide about that. So, totally 8 marks about that. So far, I have discussed that what is metallic corrosion, explain electrochemical theory or local cell theory of corrosion. Okay. Yes, sir. So, the next is that here, there are several factors affecting the influence of rate of corrosion, some of the important factors. See now, normally we used to ask that explain the factors affecting the rate of corrosion explain the factors, explain the factors of rate of corrosion. See now here there are 6 factors are there, uh, corrosion product, temperature, pH, current density, uh, ratio of anodic to cathodic areas about that. See here in this uh, anodic, uh, cathodic to uh, this one about that, see now you know like uh, if you take the 2 metals, see now this is metal 1, this is metal 2. So, electrons flowing from lower to larger one. That means, corrosion takes place at anode. This behaves as anode, this behaves as cathode. So, lower one, lower the area behaves as anode, larger area behaves as cathode. So, if you want to protect this metal, increase the area of this one. So, that time this is going to become reverse that. This metal is going to be corroded. For example, if you are seeing this board, you know one metal, the frame of that another one is metal. This frame is going to be corroded because the area of this uh, this one frame is lower area compared to with respect to board. So, if you want to the, that time this this area behaves as cathode, this portion behaves as anode. So, if you want to protect this frame uh, area, then this area included the wall. So, that time this board becomes smaller area and the board, this, uh, this one frame and uh, remaining that whole wall becomes larger area. Larger area will be always cathode, larger area always cathode, smaller area always anode. That means corrosion occurs at anode, corrosion occurs at anode. So, this is about general one about that, that is uh, explained. Uh, anodic to cathodic area, smaller the area, larger will be behaves as anode, larger area behaves as cathode. So, now uh, this is about uh, okay, uh, nature of the metal, the rate of corrosion depends on nature of the metal which is measured by its electrode potential value. In general, metals will be lower electrode potential are more reactive than those with higher electrode potential. The tendency of a metal to undergo corrosion decreases with increase in electrode potential. The tendency generally, generally undergoes corrosion decreases with increase in inversely proportional. Therefore, the metals like uh, potassium, sodium, magnesium, zinc with low electrode potential values readily undergo corrosion. Whereas, Noble metals like such as silver, gold, platinum, etc. That means about that, see for example, iron and nickel, chromium, copper, gold, silver, platinum, etc. Why iron corrodes faster than other metals? Because iron is a porous material. Iron is a porous material and non stoichiometric non stoichiometric means the surface object such as is not uniform and loose film formation whereas nickel chromium copper gold silver etc only outer will be corroded because nickel this is a non, this is a stoichiometry that means the surface object is uniform and uh, th thin film formation uh, then it is not going to be corroded about that Whereas, the, this one this one iron, iron is a poor, this is these things are non-porous materials, non-porous materials. I am going to talk about aluminum, porosity. Okay. So, nickel, chromium, copper, gold, silver, these things are not, uh, this one non-porous material. 
whereas this one is porosity because of the iron is a porous that is why ninth metal is going to be corroded. So, that is why these metals are called this is called as cheaper metal this one is called costlier metal because you know like costlier means about that. So, iron is not cheaper say if you compare with that one ton of steel or iron one ton of gold like that with the respect to that you know like iron is a cheaper metal and uh, whereas the gold other things are this one costlier metals are going to be protected uh, this one uh, cheaper uh, of the cheaper metal because to reduce the cost in general I am going to talk about these things when I come to that metallic uh, metallic corrosion uh, chapter uh, this one about metal finishing chapter about that. So, so far I have discussed about that what is metallic corrosion explain electrochemical theory of corrosion and uh, um, uh, this one what is that explain the factors of rate of corrosion just now explain about the only corrosion anodic to cathodic areas and uh, nature of the metal and uh, next class I am going to talk about that remaining uh, um, factors of rate of corrosion and different types of corrosion.